Hello guys and welcome back home Fabio Napoli Photography. Today I'm going to walk you through my setup for a commercial and advertising uh, for a shoot. Here you can see my camera already set up. I realized that I've got some issue with my uh, recorder, my, with my voice recorder which is connected to this microphone. So I apologize guys for the audio which, is, which will be mixed uh, from the internal audio of the camera and the other one, the good one coming from uh, my application. So I wanted to explain what is going on in the studio. I'm going to pick one of these uh, for, first of all I'm going to take the camera there and I'm going to turn on my camera for the shoot okay everything is working yes it is now to avoid any vibration from my camera while I'm shooting I'm using a Pluto trigger and turning it on I'm allowed all right is on and uh, I'm allowed to take a shot uh, with a wire so it's very easy and keep me less stressed to uh, may have a micro mo movement uh, in my shot so um, wh what I did in this uh, kind of scenario was um, using this light uh, pointing to the label of the Vecchia Romagna bottle uh, then those two side lights those two side lights are pointing uh, to the sides of the bottle um, but the light was too strong and was hitting the background as well so what i did i mounted this uh, stand uh, which some with some paper on uh, actually this is a roll of paper that you can find in a hardware store and this paper is keeping the uh, side lights uh, much less aggressive on the bottle um, so what I'm allowed to do is, is guarantee uh, uh, a smoother light uh, on the sides of this uh, bottle pointing right through this uh, paper uh, before to bright up the side of my bottle which is by the way a lovely bottle of uh, Vecchia Romagna because I had an issue on the background, I had to add uh, some of those poly boards to stop the light coming through the edge of this uh, um, lights uh, of this light, and so the light is quite stopped, but uh, was actually still too strong and hitting uh, the fabric on the back, um, which is a great backdrop for me, a grey one. Uh, but in this case, I wanted uh, everything total black. So I add uh, this other piece of black fabric here to stop any other uh, light coming through the um, surface, my scenario here, uh, hitting the backdrop. So now I have everything completely black. And uh, the bottle itself, as you can see, is set on a very reflective surface because in this kind of shoot I want my bottle and every detail of the bottle uh, shining through this uh, surface. This other light, which is in this moment mount on this uh, boom stand and has got on the top this uh, note uh, pointing, I'll show you right now, pointing on the label of my bottle. I reorganized my studio to do uh, only a shot of this bottle because I don't want to work at all uh, in Photoshop unless I have to correct some very small detail but I don't want to create the full scenario in Photoshop because it will, would be a time consuming thing and actually will result very fake okay doggy so first things first i'm going to turn all the lights off to see what is going on in my camera uh, if i'm keeping some of those uh, lights that i've turned off uh, i've turned on uh, for a video purpose um, 
and then I need to turn them off if they are really disturbing. As you see from this picture taken, there are no elements coming from the light uh, above. I'm going to add slowly every light on and show you what is going on in this situation. Now I'm going to turn on every light and shutting them one by one. This is the side light coming from the left and this showing you only this part of this bottle has got a very bright surface and because the shape of the bottle uh, this kind of light hit the back of the um, bottle uh, creating this uh, illumination very cool now the same thing will be with the other light on as you can see the same result but from the other part and now i'm going to use just the snoot on top which is giving to our label a much more intrigued way to be seen and also it's showing the label on the reflection okie dokie i'm very happy with this result and now i'm going to turn on again all my lights there you are all these photos that i've done are actually very cool but uh, there is an issue with this newt with uh, which is a very strong light coming from above and i'm going to correct it with a very thin piece of paper which i didn't put uh, straight on this uh, setup just because it's showing me in uh, some pictures so i'm going to mix just those two photos uh, the final one without uh, the piece of paper and the one with the piece of paper uh, to merge those two layers and uh, have a, a much more controlled light on the bottle okay and now we are in photoshop as you can see i'm going very fast on photoshop because actually it was a, a lot of time that i've spent on the program and of course I had to take off any imperfection and dust from the bottle itself. I've been seeking the perfection in the final picture. And you may wonder why I wrapped up the floor, you can see there is everything wrapped up but I did not for the shoot but for the, the second part of this video which is coming next week, stay tuned guys because next week you are going to see how I made another picture in uh, an advertising way for the bottle of this amazing Becky Romagna. I'll be doing older videos on this channel, hope you enjoy this one. Stay tuned, subscribe and see you next adventure. Bye! So I, I want to hear properly for next week, that's your duty. Yeah, you see that? Double C. Means you have to read, no Vecchia Romagna, but Vecchia Romagna. <laughs> Alright? <laughs>